fighter too. So, um, you know, she, and, she's in good hands. Yeah, well, look, and, and everyone that does come out of Aslan's gym is very much in that way. Yeah, he doesn't ever put them in there where they're um, they're either going to be out school, they're not prepared. So every time they're there, they're there to fight. Um, I just hope that her. Uh, her record, she can back up to where it comes because this will probably be, if it is, I think probably one of the greatest fights tonight. And two 17 year olds is worth mentioning. 61 kilograms. Both girls, we've got the beast in the red corner. And, and once again, don't you have a look at it when we're looking at fight records? We're looking at 14 fights and we're looking at, you know, um, 11, you know, so, or, or 14 again, isn't it? Very you know, evenly so, matched. Yeah, and at 17 year old girls, who would be? Big stare down there by the beast. She means business, Murph, I think you're right here. Yep. Um, but when you fight someone from Aslan's gym, you know that you are in a battle, so she's ready for the, she's ready for the uh, challenge. And I think you're right, I've, I've got a good feeling about this fight. Round one. Both girls just uh, on the low kicks. Very, very similar in their, their technique at the moment. You can see the way they stand, everything. Trying the same sort of combinations. Yep. Looking for those low kicks early, both girls. Good head defense there, oh, and takedown from Tia. As we uh, see the, the, these girls are, yeah. are 17, they have to be padded for the elbows, Murph. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's it. just have to get it sorted. Can't slip it past old Cannon Bannon. <laughs> As we see both girls, nice poise, they, they, they don't want to throw anything Nice little chest battle early on in this first round, Brian Murphy. Yeah, look, and I oh. think that'll be it. Wait, wait, wait till one of them taste blood and come round two or three. I think you'll see it explode. But once again, very evenly matched now. Both girls, um, you know, both working well with each other. Um, just going to wait for one to land that blow. And a nice high kick earlier there from Tia. The side kick just to keep the beast away. I've got to keep changing to the screen because I can't see the fight. I keep looking at Ken and Bennon's little cheeks. Well, not so little anymore. <laughs> oh, oh see, this is, see, this is where the beast comes alive. As soon as she tastes that blood. Beautiful knee there by, by Tia just uh, in retaliation. But you're right, Murph. Yeah. She's, uh, she tastes blood and she goes for it. Nice. Nice movement and then and in and out balls of her feet. And then great push kick. Nice defense there by Tia. I like what I'm seeing from Tia. Nice guard as we see the beast trying to break through it with those straight punches. And very, very, very good fight. You know, both girls actually very similar in their fighting styles. Um, yeah, and neither girl giving anyone uh, an inch. Oh, and the takedown again. Beautiful skill. You can actually see her setting that up and doing a great skill. Exactly right. And that's the second time she's done that this round, Murph. So that's yeah. with a very big score. That's yeah. good score, especially when it's nice and close like this. Yep. This is going to be a nightmare for the judges to score. And look, and tell you from all my years experience of it, as a judge, you're actually looking for some things like that just to separate, to give yourself that. Yeah, setting it up again. Yeah. Nice combination work oh, there. beautiful. By Tia. And then locks on for the clinch and gets... Yeah, it's going to set up again. Woo. Very, very good in the grapple. This is a uh, tough one for the judges, Brian Murphy. I'm, yeah. I'm going to sit on the fence for that. I'm not going to split that. that
Both girls heading Round into round two. number two. <laughs> and the beast starts it just like I knew she would. <laughs> and just retaliating straight back yeah. is uh, Tia. But you see Tia then going for it, like she just set it up. Yeah, again, very mm, strong, yeah, good, very good. strong. And great, te great technique. Nice push kicks again, and then good guard. She's, she's mixing it up very well. And the beast just relentless. Nice push kick herself. Yeah, beautiful looking, with punching. Looking for the uh, takedown of her, of her own. Both girls just get split up in the neutral corner. Right in front of our comet tree position. Yeah, both girls just very, very evenly matched. Their, their techniques are very, and their styles very, very much the same. Yeah. You know, which which is what I was excited for. As I said, this gun has been one of the greatest fights of the night. Yep, I agree with you there, Brian. And two 17-year-old girls. That's Let's go it. back and say that 10 years ago. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, I actually get more excited now when I see the girls when they come out and do it because it's just gone to a whole new level. That's right, and you know, back in the day on an eruption, the only girl you'd probably see would have been Laura Skinner. Ella so, the card girl. The I card always girl. take notice of the card girls. Attention to detail and Brian <laughs> Murphy. Yeah, that's definitely that. That's how I keep track of the cards and know which round. Back to the girls fighting in the center ring. Nice big right hand there by the beast but uh, I'm, I'm impressed with, with the blue corner Murph yeah and and I'm noticing she's listening like we can hear the corner from our position and she's listening and, and implementing what they're saying and it's working so yep. that's great uh, coaching and, and great ears from Tia both girls just tip for tat yeah big knee there by Tia and tries for the takedown again. As we see the beast looking for an elbow. <laughs> yeah, you can hear Aslan getting very, very passionate in the corner there. <laughs> That's what we love to see. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason he was such a good fighter and yeah. such a good trainer. It's he, he, he his passion. He loves it. He loves his fighters doing well and they're always ready. End of round, uh, 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds of this round. And this is another round where you're looking for just End something. Of round two. <laughs> As a judge to separate it. Well, guess what? I don't have to even no, look at that this that's stage. That's not our job. No, not our job. We can just say another awesome round. To Georgia Smith, she's very, very calm as well. She's very fit. She, she's not breathing. It's no, like she's just starting. She, she, yeah, she's like a, an energizer bunny she just Round keeps going three. going and going i've never actually seen her look like she's tired both girls start off <laughs> exactly the same way <laughs> they start it the way that they finish every round and this is what i love about the girls there is no give or take and it's just go 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 nice little uh, turn and, and into the knee there by tia and that's been the deciding factor uh, in, in my eyes, Murph. Her, her clinching and, and her skills in the grappling. Yep. Um, and and like we say, the, the punching and the kicking is all left there. Um, you know, the grab, but that's the thing that she's she's definitely leading on. So as an official, you'd be looking at that, you, the all-round Muay Thai technique. That's where she's definitely outstanding uh, or making the dominance in that area. Nice combo there by uh, Georgia. Just finishing with the body kick. Just to get out of the way of that. Another high kick there. Just beautiful. Both girls just sit in the pocket, you know, and let them go. It's just tit for tat here. Um, nice knee there by, by Tia. And good, strong clinching as we see Georgia trying to get, get out so she can get that elbow to Noel Vale. There's a push kick again. Yeah, she's from using Tia. that well now. Yeah, to, George is just charging forward, yep. you know, um, they would have known that. That's where the push kick. Yeah, she should look at that, using her angles and stepping aside and kicking. You know, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's skillful stuff. 
it's, that, it's, that she's showing there. It's experience beyond her yeah, age. Exactly, you know. So uh, both girls, oh, another right final, beautiful. final stages of this round. Just over one minute to go, the final round. It's been a great spin for the night in my eyes. Yeah, Earth. look, mate, I, 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 knew, I knew it was where it come through it and um, yeah, great display. And there's that, uh, there's that strong clinch work again. Both girls looking in for the clinch. They're looking for those elbows. As we see Georgia just chop the leg there. She needs to stay out of the clinch for mine, Murph. She needs to just... Yeah, they've definitely... Hands and kick combos. Yep. Um, 30 seconds left for the fight, good people. 30 seconds. And try and get the win. Like, I don't know who's going to win this. No, uh, look, it's... I'd, I'd lean towards the blue corner. Yep. Um, but, you know, anything can happen and it's very close. So we see both girls just teeing off you at know, the knees. This is where you got to look at it and say, yeah, even though we don't like draws or anything where it comes, both girls lift everything in there, showing great skill, great heart, great technique. And look, <laughs> just... If, 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 if we were ever the boyfriend, three. I'd be doing all right the housework. No ladies. <laughs> what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Great fight. Very, very tough one to call. Um, I was going to sit on the fence, Murph, but I'm going to lead the way of Tia. Yeah. I think, look, uh, just look. the clinching, maybe. Just just got it. She's moving her angles with those kicks, as yeah. we see in the replay. Yeah. Now, I, I think with anything, it, it, it'll, it'll be a very, very close fight. But I think Blue Corner, she just pulled those little things off a little bit uh, more throughout the fight. And you can see it set up. Um, where the beast lived up to her name and her reputation coming forward. We'll see what the Ladies judges come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of full-time rules action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision, where we find a majority decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Tia Nick Powell. Showing a lot of respect there. That, you know, that, you know, Georgia Smith, she's, she's no stranger to the fight game. She, she knows it. This is a great, this is a, a possibility. Um, and, you know, once again, we'll see these girls, they're 17 years old, we'll see these <laughs> girls go, go uh, to war. They haven't even started 